Hi guys, and welcome to the video lecture for pillar number seven, use of self-care products and services. Since I'm pursuing my master's of nursing and education specifically, I wanted to implement a new style of online teaching for this final pillar. Since we do not get to see each other face to face, I figured I would record this video lecture so you're able to see and hear me on screen. Let's get started. As part of the International Self-Care Foundation's seventh pillar, it focuses on the knowledgeable, safe, and effective use of health products and services by individuals to better manage their own health. So basically it's focusing on tools for self-care that we can utilize within the healthcare system, including prescription medications in conjunction with the doctor, non-prescription medicines, preventative health products, for example, dental care or mosquito netting or sleep aids, natural health products, traditional medicines and vitamins, minerals, and supplements, devices and diagnostics like home blood pressure monitors, substance control products like nicotine gum for tobacco cessation, wellness services such as nutrition planning, gym memberships, and health services such as acupuncture, chiropractic, and smoking cessation programs. In this class, we're focused on the wellness and health services that employers offer to their employees. Employee assistance programs are at the forefront of promoting and sustaining employee well-being as they are designed to foster the mental, emotional, and physical prosperity of employees by providing tools and resources which can optimize both employee and organizational success. According to the Society of Human Resource Management, EAPs are a work-based intervention program designed to assist employees in resolving personal problems that may be adversely affecting the employee's performance. These programs grant access to a set number of therapy or counseling sessions within the year. Usually this number is less than six, but some places can offer up to 12 free sessions, which is one per month. Employees do not pay any copay, deductible, or out-of-pocket costs, as these programs are entirely free to utilize. Family members can also benefit from this EAP program because that also includes spouse or children. Research has shown that implementing an EAP program into a company has caused a 69.2% decrease in absenteeism, which means employees are calling out a lot less frequently. There is a 22.8% improvement in work presenteeism, which means that when employees, employees are at work, they are mindful and present throughout the day. They're able to get work done and remain focused. There is also a 10% decrease in workplace distress. We all know that a decrease in distress leads to a decrease in overall burnout for any company. So where do these EAP programs even come from? Well, they first started in the 1930s due to an increase in alcoholism. These EAP programs allowed the employee the ability to seek help and treatment for alcohol use. During this time, there was an uptick of alcohol intake and alcohol drinking during work was actually the norm. So even though this allowed the employees to seek help, there was still a huge stigma against alcoholism and employees were scared to use this benefit due to fear of losing their job. In the 1970s, the National Council of Alcoholism spread the EAP programs nationally and destigmatized their use. Currently, 97% of large companies with over 5,000 employees have an EAP in place. However, only 5% of these employees utilize this free program. Why? Why do we not utilize this wonderful program that helps increase our mental health and well being? Since the pandemic, 75% of employees have been felt burnout nationwide. This is not just in healthcare, because we do know that numbers are continuing to rise with burnout within the healthcare realm. This number is actually of all companies nationwide. If we have these free programs for mental health in place, why are our employers not in pushing us to use them? A healthy-minded employee produces a more productive employee for the company. So why do we not utilize this free resource? There are many areas of support within the employee assistance program. So these include stress management. Work and finances are some of the top causes of employee stress. Stress management counseling can provide team members with resources and techniques to cope with stress and minimize its consequences. Domestic violence. Domestic violence resources can include counseling, legal advice, and interventions. Grief. Grief can be devastating to anyone. Having to work in the midst of it is often difficult. 
Grief counseling is one of the most reliable ways to help people through hard times. Alcoholism. Alcoholism is where EAP started, and it's continued to be an effective way to offer better suited for guiding people to proper help than rendering it directly. So EAPs will help you get the resources and treatment that you need and get you on the path to recovery. Crisis management. Crisis happens, often out of the blue. So examples of crisis include the loss of a house in a natural disaster, a devastating health diagnosis, or any other unexpected problem. Crisis management helps employees focus on what they can control and keeps them organized as they deal with the issue. Crisis management resources can help team members get back on their feet more quickly and effectively. Psychological disorders. There are many mental health disorders that are not disabling. While they introduce challenges to a person's life, many can be managed. An EAP can typically identify problems and refer workers to the right experts to get the specialized help that they need. Substance use. Substance use are issues that are managed much like alcoholism. When a problem is identified, EAP resources can help get the affected staff member to a qualified professional or into a program that has a good chance of providing long-term help. Health and caregiving. Health and caregiving experts provide advice for employees who are in a situation that requires them to provide immediate care to another. This training can prepare the person to care for an elderly family member or someone with disabilities. Family services. Family services center around childcare and family planning. EAPs can offer advice for organizing resources, time, and ideas to foster a better home situation. These services can include assistance in finding and financing expert childcare, planning family or medical leave, and budgeting for a growing family. Financial or legal concerns. Some EAPs offer legal counsel and offer a financial advisor for help with saving and planning for retirement or large purchases like your first big home. All of these resources are free to use, so use them. Employers partake in EAP programs so that their staff can be the healthiest mentally, physically, and emotionally. When life happens, these programs are here to support you. So now, what is the difference between employee assistance programs or wellness benefits? Wellness benefits focus on prevention and improving health through health-related amenities. This means that these benefits are not free, but they are discounted to help improve your overall well-being. Wellness benefits are in place so that employees can remain happy and healthy outside of work, creating a work-life balance. Benefits can include gym facilities, yoga classes, exercise classes, massage, nutrition guidance, or weight loss programs. But remember, EAP programs are free to utilize and there for you in a time of need, while these wellness programs cost money but are discounted and can be used to maintain your mental health throughout the year. Washington State offers many mental health resources to their citizens. Here are a few and all of these have a link included. I will be posting this presentation as PDF on Canvas so you can visit the links at a later time. The Washington Recovery Helpline. This resource is a 24-7 helpline that individuals can reach out to for substance use, problems with gambling, or mental health crisis. They provide emotional support and help with connecting to the appropriate resource needed. Their services are always free and always available, so do not ever hesitate to reach out. The Washington Health Plan Finder is your resource to signing up for health care insurance plans, including Medicaid. Medicaid, or as Washington calls it, Apple Health, is a free federal health insurance for those individuals who are 19 to 65 with low income, non-citizens, blind or disabled, in foster care, or any pregnant women. Medicaid does provide free mental health help as well if you're eligible to sign up. This website shows eligibility for low income numbers depending on how many are in your household, and Medicaid can be applied for any time of the year. You do not have to wait for the end of the year to start again in January. It can be done at any time. The National Alliance on Mental Illness in Washington is the resource for free mental health help and community research um, within the state of Washington. This website provides a list of therapists in the area who are culturally competent and diverse. It is a wonderful resource if you or anyone you know is struggling with mental health. The National Suicide Prevention Hotline is available 24-7 if you or someone you know is struggling with their mental health. Please call the 1-800 number listed. 
The NAMI website also gives other resources and phone numbers to crisis hotlines for use 24-7 as well. So as part of this module, you'll be completing the Use of Resources and Services quiz. To go along with the EAP and wellness benefit programs, this quiz is for you to research what mental health or wellness benefits are offered by your place of employment. Even if you're not currently working in healthcare, most employers offer a wellness benefit to enhance the mental health of their employees in their organization. It is vital that you are aware of what they offer for yourself and for your family. If you're under a spouse's benefit plan, research what their plan offers. If neither you or your spouse is working, research what your school, UW Bothell, has to offer as mental health or a wellness benefit. As mentioned earlier, 5.5% of employees actually utilize these free programs. It's essential for you to know and understand what is available to you and your family. Please submit this quiz by Sunday, March 3rd at 2359. Although labeled as a quiz, there will be questions to guide you in gathering information about your employer's benefits offered. This quiz will be a pass or no pass, so please be sure to get it done before the deadline. If you need an extension, always feel free to reach out to myself or Diana before the due date. So as an example of what we're looking for as part of this quiz, I will show some examples from my current job. I currently work for Vail Health in Vail, Colorado. As a part of being an employee in their facility, they offer an employee assistance program and wellness benefits. So their EAP is through Mountain Strong and they offer free counseling services. This year, they've increased their number of free sessions from eight to 12. This was a huge increase that all of us were very excited about. Getting therapists here in the mountains can be very difficult since we are a smaller and considered rural community. There's a lot of mental health disorders in this community, so having these 12 free sessions throughout the year is beneficial for all of us. Vail also offers a free membership to Headspace. This is an app for your phone that focuses on meditation and mindfulness practice. We all live such busy lifestyles, so it's nice to have an app that is free and can be used anywhere and anytime. So Vail Health's wellness benefits include a discount on our medical insurances. So this is a screenshot of what that looks like. To get the full discount, we must have an annual physical done and sign an attestation that we do not smoke tobacco. We also must log our physical and mental health activities that we practice daily into an app called Virgin Pulse. As we log these activities, we get points to then receive a discount on insurance up to $100, and we can get a $50 cash to spend in the Pulse store. The Pulse store has like Apple products or Amazon gift cards, Starbucks gift cards, Vail Health Gear, anything kind of like that, but we can use this cash to buy any of those odd items. Another well-being benefit is the well-being credit account. So this account is employer funded and focuses on well-being activities that will be reimbursed to us. This benefit helps maintain a healthy lifestyle. The reimbursement numbers are as follows. For a full-time person, you can get $1,000. For part-time, you can get $600. And for seasonal, temporary, or pool, basically your per diem PRN employees, you can get $300. So how this works is we can submit to have our ski pass reimbursed, gym membership for the year reimbursed. We can buy gym clothes or we can buy ski gear. We can buy fitness classes. You can buy new skis. You can buy a bike. You can buy new snowshoes. Basically, there's a list of items that are all have to do with being active and we get money back after submitting the receipt. I have personally used this benefit every year to pay for my own ski pass and it's an awesome benefit that Vail Health has. Also part of their wellness programs is something called Safe Health. So this program is an affiliation with Howard Head Physical Therapy and it's a 12 week program where we have two nutrition coaching sessions, a training session per week with a physical therapist and pre and post assessments. This program is for anyone to join or those who did not pass the metabolic syndrome values health assessment as part of their annual physical exam. This program allows for free gym sessions and to promote physical activity while reducing stress and financial strain of insurance payments. They do also offer Safe Fit, which is a free 20 minute appointment with a physical therapist to prevent injury in any outdoor sports. So living in the mountains comes with a ton of outdoor things to do, like skiing, mountain biking, trail running, rock climbing, snowboarding, snowmobiling, pretty much the outdoor enthusiast dream. But with this fun comes injuries, if not properly training or strengthening correctly. 
So the Safe Fit program allows employees to meet with physical therapists for free to diagnose mild injuries or preventative measures. This program has been awesome for myself because when I first started mountain biking, they actually fit me to my bike so that I discontinued having this knee pain that was bugging me. And it was a great perk and benefit of working for Vail Health. So what I want you to do is basically go to your job and see what do they offer. They may not have as many health and benefits as Vail Health does, but they do have something. Because ever since the pandemic, more and more companies have been implementing EAP and wellness packages as part of their benefits for full-time employees. That is all for this recorded lecture. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns and reach out via Canvas message to myself and Diana. And we hope you enjoyed this very last pillar, pillar number seven, and we'll see you during finals. Thanks, bye.